Hi, I'm Pranav, and today I'm presenting our work titled Conceptual Metaphors Impact Perceptions of Human AI Collaboration. As conversational agents have become pervasive, it is important to understand the mechanisms that influence users' experiences of these agents. What causes some AI agents to get adopted while others are discarded? Why would Shawice amass millions of monthly users while the same techniques powering Tay led to it being pulled down for eliciting anti social interactions? Experiences of a system are typically understood as being mediated by a user's mental model of that system. And developing effective mental models can lead to more informed and satisfying interactions. But how do we explain why Tay and Shawai saw very different reactions, despite having similar underlying technology? This suggests we need additional theoretical scaffolding to understand this phenomenon. An important yet relatively unexamined aspect is how these systems are introduced to people, particularly the metaphors that designers attach to these systems. AI systems today are usually accompanied by conceptual metaphors, like Tay, Microsoft's AI fam from the internet that's got zero chill, or Wobot, your charming robot friend, or your sympathetic ear, Shawais. To formalize the notion, conceptual metaphors convey complex ideas using simple terms, and designers often rely on these metaphors to implicitly communicate functionalities of the system and to influence user expectations. Across our studies, we seek to understand how metaphors used to describe AI systems affect user evaluations and user attitudes. To characterize the space of metaphors, we draw on social cognition theories around impression formation. The stereotype content model tells us that judgments along the dimensions of warmth and competence are the prime factors in impression formation. Warmth is characterized by notions of sincerity and good naturedness, while competence is characterized by notions of intelligence and skillfulness. For example, we would judge a baby to be high warmth but low competence, and a professional to be high warmth and high competence. We would expect our impressions of computing systems to be dictated by the same factors as the media equation suggests we apply social rules to our interactions with computers as well. Our first study explores how the warmth and competence projected by the metaphor affect user evaluations and user attitudes. In this study, participants are introduced to a conversational AI system using a metaphor, and this metaphor varies depending on the study condition they are assigned to. After this, they complete a task using the system, and we measure their attitudes and evaluation. The only thing that changes across study conditions is the metaphor displayed. The underlying system remains the same. Participants in the study were asked to complete a travel planning task with a Wizard of Oz conversational agent. To curate a set of metaphors, we listed several candidate metaphors and asked another batch of crowd workers questions about these metaphors. These responses were used to derive the warmth and competence levels projected by the metaphors. This allowed us to locate where these metaphors lie in the warmth and competence space, which has four quadrants. High warmth, low competence, high warmth, high competence, low warmth, low competence, and low warmth, high competence. For the first study, we select one metaphor per quadrant, giving us four study conditions. Along with the control condition where participants are shown no metaphor, these form the five conditions in study one. After completing the task with the system, participants were probed for their desire to cooperate with the system and for their intention to adopt the system. We find that participants express a stronger desire to cooperate with agents that projected lower competence and agents that projected higher warmth. We find that participants are more likely to adopt an agent that projects low competence, and they are less forgiving of mistakes made by AI systems that project high competence. We do not observe effects of warmth on their adoption intentions. These results suggest that it's better to lower initial user expectations by projecting low competence and to then positively violate those expectations. Interestingly, we find that the relationship between competence and adoption intentions is nonlinear, and more extreme violations of expectation lead to stronger effects. While we've seen the benefits of projecting low competence, it is also possible that low competence metaphors can drive away potential users before they even try out the system. Through a survey, we found that participants were more likely to try out AI systems that were described as high competence and high warmth. So it becomes clear that associating a high warmth metaphor is always beneficial, but the choice of competence level becomes a more nuanced decision. One possible approach might be to choose a high competence metaphor, but to lower competence expectations right after interaction begins. Our findings provide a new lens to interpret user behaviors around existing AI systems. We take metaphors attached to existing systems and use the same method as before to gather judgments of warmth and competence. We project these existing systems into the warmth and competence space and find that all systems project high competence, which might explain why people are constantly dissatisfied with them. We find that Tay projects the lowest warmth, which might explain why it elicited the antisocial interactions that it did. You can read more about our study and our findings in our paper.